I was so happy to get to direct this film for The Ritz because, first of all, I'm such a fan, longtime fan of The Ritz, starting with my parents, so it reminds me of being a kid. It feels like one of the last standing, true, completely remarkable, glamorous places left in the world. Behind the Door is the title of the film. It is sort of this mysterious story about these two people and how they get into this fantasy world of the Ritz. This sort of privilege of getting this key and forgetting your real life for a minute. I think my favorite moment was when I arrived on set. I had no idea that in several hours that people could accomplish so much. And I walked in and it was this fantasy land of just kind of glittering, beautiful, the best party that you could, you know, get ready to go to. We don't want to get rid of our history so quickly. These days people sort of want to move on to this high-tech world and, and do things quickly and don't stop to sort of smell the roses. And that's actually a perfect metaphor for the Ritz, a throwback to a different time while still being smart enough to be modern with the modern technologies. The Ritz encourages strongly a sense of decorum and beauty that is sometimes missing in the world these days and it's nice to be able to have a place to celebrate that. I had the most incredible team. They let us dream and I think it's unusual these days to be able to really dream, be dreamy about something. What is the story of the Ritz film? I will say it is mysterious, it's romantic, it's curious, and it's very luxurious.